This isn't your typical puppy bowl. I would just blow it in his face. Is getting your dog high the key to his health? A Fox 5 special report, pot for pooches. Now you know that people use marijuana to ease the side effects of illness. More and more pet owners are getting their dogs high as well. They say it's really good for what ails them. But what do veterinarians have to say about this? Pot for your pooches, a special report is up next. Pot for your pets. It's probably not the usual way you think of marijuana use, but it's something that's caught on in states where it is legal for recreational users. Experts say there needs to be more research first before giving it to your pets, but that has not stopped some by swearing by it. Fox 5's Ashley Conroy joins us to talk about why people have experimented with it and the reason experts say it's just too premature to give this to your pets. Yeah, and you know, guys, bottom line is that so many vets just say it's too premature to decide if it is safe for your pet's just yet, of course, there has been minimal research on how marijuana is going to affect your dog or your cat. Well, we did speak with one woman who says she gave it to her dog for 15 years for medical reasons and says it helped him, but a local veterinarian says not so fast. So she's kind of tripping out, poor baby. It's easy to see why there's hesitation from the veterinary community when looking at these YouTube videos. This is normal. Dogs stumbling around, confused and high after eating food mixed with marijuana. A dog is not a person. People metabolize it a little bit differently than dogs. If you get it magnified. Dr. David Tack is a veterinarian at Blue Cross Animal Hospital. He's owned this practice for 32 years and says normally he hears of four cases of dogs eating marijuana a year, but recently says he's had two in just the past few months. It kind of coincides with the uh, advent of legalized medical marijuana as well as recreational marijuana. Dr. Tack says the pattern in other states is the looser the laws become, the more likely dogs specifically will get into their owner's supply. He believes this too could happen in Nevada. <laughs> Elizabeth Stinson's viewpoint a little different. I would just blow it in his face. Okay. Yeah. And he would breathe it? And yeah, he'd take it right in, yeah. <laughs> Stinson is a retired nurse and says she started giving it to her dog because she saw the benefit in cancer patients. Her dogs now don't have a medical condition, but she gave it to her dachshund for 15 years because he had diabetes from the time he was a puppy. And he was taking four shots a day, and we came down to one shot a day by giving him marijuana. Stinson says her vet's opinion was different than Dr. Tax. The vet said, what are you doing to this dog that, that I'm not doing with your dog? And I said, well... I was doing the marijuana. And he goes, well, keep it up. You're doing the right thing. Dogs and animals that have been in serious pain, have serious arthritis, couldn't barely walk, um, had cancer, uh, didn't have an appetite, they would feed the marijuana and, and um, they were able to, to sustain their uh, quality of life. State Senator Tick Siegerblum has worked extensively in the Nevada legislature to expand rights for medicinal marijuana users. You'll be able to buy it and use it for yourself, but you won't be able to give it to anyone and you couldn't give it to your pet. So that would actually be illegal. He would consider proposing a bill for Nevada's 2015 legislative session to get more rights for pet owners. It would also be illegal for a veterinarian to prescribe it for a dog or whatever. Um, so that may be something we have to relook at it in 2015. There's edibles from hard candy to mints. Joe Breesney, executive director of Nevada's cannabis industry, says there's many anecdotal stories online of owners swearing by it for their pets. Now what we're seeing is it's mostly internet-based rumors of uh, cannabis helping people's pets and people self-administering. But even as an advocate, Breesney says it still might be too premature to give it to your dog or cat just yet. This is a, a substance that's not toxic to humans, but we just don't know when it comes to animals. It's just not a good idea to, to dive, dive into uh, unproven medical treatments. We need to do this the right way. Go get the ball! Wesley King, another proponent of pot for pets, says she would do anything for her three pooches, including medicinal marijuana if necessary. Doesn't have to be confusing for the dog, if that makes sense. Yeah. Where if you give too much, then it can be really confusing. Again, Dr. Tack says be careful, and if you think your pet, especially a dog, has gotten into it, it's important to tell your vet. It's no laughing matter, and and it's it's such a big deal. These dogs will get into it in a heartbeat. Most dogs will recover within 12 to 24 hours, sometimes 
it takes three days, but occasionally they'll die as a result of it. While there's supporters who swear by it and others still skeptical, the answers might best be left to science. If some of the symptoms a dog or cat might experience if poisoning happens is walking drunk like you saw in the story, low heart rate and blood pressure, seizures and even coma. And John Olivia, as you heard, there's just not enough research and still certainly more science that needs to be conducted before the veterinary community would support it at this point. It's sad to see them falling over like that. Right. It is. They don't know what's going on. And if they're in frail health, they could injure themselves right. too. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, how it plays out. And people are already interested in your story even before yeah. it ran. Yeah. He was getting, <laughs> really rants, getting on rants on it. it. So thank you, Ashley. Thanks, Ashley. All right. Thanks, guys. It in states like Colorado and Washington, where recreational marijuana use is now legal, the Pet Poison Hotline reports there's been a 200% increase in pot poisoning of cats and dogs over the past five years.